You've done your pre-trip inspection on your vehicle. You've determined that one of your push rods is stroking too far. In other words, it's out of adjustment and you need to figure out how to adjust that. In this day and age, all new trucks, all new vehicles with air brake systems are going to be fitted with automatic slack adjusters. And you may have erroneously been told that in fact, you can adjust an automatic slack adjuster. And you can't. But nine times out of 10, there's something wrong with the automatic slack adjuster and it needs to be replaced. As well, in terms of liability, God forbid that something happens, you get in a crash, and the authorities find out that you were under there adjusting automatic slack adjusters that could end very badly for you. So in terms of liability, I recommend, highly, highly recommend that you do not do anything with automatic slack adjusters. One thing you can do, most of the time what happens with automatic slack adjusters, they don't get greased because they don't get greased. The ratcheting mechanism inside stops working. So if you put a bit of grease to them and then do a six pack, what I'm gonna show you how to do today is essentially pump the air brake system up to maximum pressure, three hard brake applications, pump it back up again and then do three more. Most of the time, that's gonna rectify your problem. If not, you need to take it into a technician. So let's show you how to do this. First thing you need to do, chalk the wheels, make sure that the wheel chocks are in the vehicle safe because you're gonna release the parking brakes and you don't want the vehicle to roll away and you know, crash into a tree, explode into a fire inferno. So be safe, wheel chocks in, and then uh, we'll pump the system up maximum pressure, three hard brake applications, and then do it again. And then we'll recheck push rod travel to see whether that fixed our problem for us. If not, you need to get it to a technician and you need to have them replace the automatic slack adjuster. So the first thing you do is start up the truck here. Parking brake is on, obviously, We're pumping the system up to maximum pressure. We want to release the parking brakes on the vehicle. So for example, we're not, we don't have a trailer on the truck here. We got wheel chocks in, so we've released the brakes. We're going to pump to maximum pressure when we hear the air dryer purge and then we see that the needles have stopped climbing. We can throttle up here a little bit. The reason you need maximum air pressure in the system is because you need to make a hard service brake application to try and get the ratchet mechanism to ratchet over to the next pawl. Uh, think of a boat ratchet that you're ratcheting up the boat onto the trailer. That's exactly the same thing that's happening inside an automatic slack adjuster. Air dryers purged, needles have stopped climbing, we're at maximum pressure. Now we make, we have our parking brake released, three hard maximum brake application. We can see that with the brake application. Two, and then three. So we made three brake applications, we pump it up again because we're now below 100 pounds. And as I said, we want to get maximum push rod stroke so that we ratchet that over to the next one. So we bring it back up to maximum pressure again. Maximum pressure, air dryers purge, needles have stopped climbing. Three more. hard brake applications, shut the truck off, and we go out and re we recheck and make sure that the push rod stroke is now within tolerance. After you do your six hard brake applications in the cab, come back out, recheck your push rod travel, and eight times out of 10, it's gonna go back into adjustment. If not, you'll need to take it to a technician and it'll either need to be adjusted by them or they'll replace it. Don't be doing it yourself. Don't take on that liability in the unlikely event that something happens. You just don't wanna do that. For the complete playlist on air brakes and pre-trip inspection and determining push rod stroke that you're within adjustment, both the applied stroke method and the pry bar, click over here and remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day, bye now. If you want the complete list, detailed list, of what you need to say, what you need to inspect for the purposes of passing your pre-trip inspection, click up in the corner here, head over to the Smart Drive Test website.